YouTube. This is Karen Bowen um, with KB Studio Creations. Um, if you are new, welcome. And if you've watched others and are a subscriber, welcome back. I'm sorry. I started this before and I messed something up and now my screen's weird, but whatever. So, um, starts. I don't have any starts this past week. Um, I did join an ATC group on Instagram so I'll be starting my piece for that later today. Um, and I will have a link to that group on my notes. Um, but my husband did start something. He's working on this. Um, a Pirate's Life by Country Cottage Kids, which is Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, it's a really cute piece. I don't know if you can see it. It's not really, yeah. Basic idea, that. So he just started working on the frame. And he is using this scroll, scroll frame just behind it, um, that we got from his mom. Um, it also comes with a stand, but it's the stand's missing a knob, so we're not using that yet. And we're kind of struggling with the tension, but we're going to try to fix that while well, he is. Um, but hopefully we'll get it working. Um, so whips. I'm working more on my wrong one my hippo my boy hippo so during mania the half week i worked on it i just got the bow done so now i'm adding in some of the hippo and i'm going to try something new on my show notes for now while i'm not yet video editing savvy where i'm going to put pictures of my designs um basic idea on there as well as before and after pics like where I was last week where I am this week kind of thing so yeah we'll see how that works but those will be in the show notes um, I'm also working on flamingo um, and this is from cross stitcher uh, the June issue right yeah the Ju June 2018 issue so um, I've made some, some more progress. It has some mistakes in it, but I figure no one's really gonna get to care or be able to tell. So yeah, that's not really focusing, but that's that. And it's really cute. I enjoy working on it. It's my first time working on linen or even weave, but it's going okay. I'm not like a super huge fan right now, but I mean, I do like the fact that it doesn't have all the big holes. So it makes it a more even background. But we'll see. I'm, I have several Eden Weave and Linen projects to work on right now. Well, eventually, in the next few months. So we'll see how I like it. I know a lot of people really do love it, so maybe I'll find I love it too. Okay, on to the next. So design. Um, tons of ideas. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm tired. Um, I haven't worked on any of the design though. Just been writing down more and more ideas. But I did start working on a, I've, I've been working on a commission piece. It's a math equation, but he's a physics professor, so math, right? So I'm working on that design a bit because he wants it for the upcoming school year for his wall in his classroom. So yeah, I'm working on that design. So that's all I've got for design. Finishes. I have three finishes this week. It's exciting. Like, I really, I finished them like three days in a row and it was awesome. I loved it. Okay. So, bobble. This is from the Mr. Cross Stitch Bobble Project. So, this is the first one and I was trying to make it look very, like the pattern reminded me of like pine trees. So, that's what I was going for kind of thing. And I used variegated floss from DMC because I just wanted to play around with it. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm definitely gonna do the second one as well in his series, in that series. He has four different baubles that you can do and then you send it to him. But luckily for us in the US at least, uh, um, Michelle from Benny Stitchy is, has said that we can send them to her and she'll just send them over to him on a big package, in a big package. So um, once I get at least those two done, I will send them off to her. But for now, one more to go which I'm excited to start. I just need to figure out what cloth I want to do it on and everything. And then I also finished Mr. Fox. Well, not Mr. Fox, 
This is just the regular fox. So each of these animal face series has a regular and then one with a bow tie and one with a hair bow. So I think he turned out pretty good. Um, Tiffany at Express Life Tiffa, she's also a floss tuber. She did the girl version. She didn't have the colors I had, so she used different colors, which will be an alternate color on the pattern. But so if you wanna see that, I will link to her, um, her links, Instagram floss tube. Um, so yeah, the fox is done and I need to finish it now, obviously. I know how I want to finish it, but that would take money. So I probably won't do my ideal. My ideal would be getting one of the stay home stitches frames. I don't know if you've seen that, but they're really cool. They're like embroidery hoops, but then frames that you put around the embroidery hoop. Anyways, it's really cool. I really want <coughs> them, but they cost like as much as if you were buying a frame and it's a lot of money for me right now. I just bought way too much stuff. So I don't know, I'll probably figure out some other way to frame it, whether in a hoop or in a frame. Cause I do want to hang, I, I want to hang it on. I know where I want to hang it. So it is going to go on a wall. So some sort of framing. And then I also finished my girl pig and I did this one on a bib. So um, I just plan to use it as a model. I don't necessarily plan to have a kid using it per se but I do need to find a kid to model it for my Etsy pictures. But I love my little pig and her bow. That was fun. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing these animal faces. It started out partly as just a challenge for myself to try to create designs that don't use backstitching or three quarter stitches, which I love using both of those. But I know a lot of people don't like stitching those. And these ones don't use them. But they do use a lot, you do a lot of the same color, a lot. So I still need to work on that too. But for these, it's fun. Um, the size is for an afghan I'm gonna do, which I did not bring this over here, so I'm not going to show you the afghan, but I actually can show you kind of what it looks like because the Cross Stitcher magazine is doing a series of, um, oh, here it is, it's just on the front a series of animals for an Afghan, like I am doing. Only mine are just the face. But you can't really see it, but it's, I think it's called Queen Anne's Cloth. Um, but, so I made them the size of the blocks, or a size that would fit well in the blocks. So that's my plan for those. Personally, like, I wanna do that because I have that cloth, but also just, I go crazy. I was just gonna do animal faces, and then I added bow ties and hair bows because I thought it was a cute idea and I like them. So, hey, more work for me and my test stitchers. If you want to be a test stitcher, please let me know. I have a few, but I am always in need of more because I have tons of ideas. I have no FFOs, none. Haul, only a little bit, that is good. So my husband and I went to Michael's and we got some clay to make some needle minders. Um, I'm gonna be releasing those in my shop once they're ready. Um, so we just got some color combos that we wanna use for the little book needle minders. I don't know if I have a needle minder over here to show you, but they're the book needle minders. Um, purple. And blue. So those are the color combos we've picked. And my husband's actually gonna be making those um, to help me out. And then, oh, I got these photo boxes. Oh, can you see them? So they were on sale for $2. Oh, here's the other one. It's super cute and it says, shoot for the stars. Anyways, so I'm getting ready to um, start selling kits of some of my patterns on Etsy. So I am cutting out floss to the lengths I want and then putting them in just little baggies to sort them. And then I'm gonna start putting together the kits at some point. Soon, hopefully. Because I want them released before my Christmas and July sale, which will be, I think it's the 23rd of this month through the 30th. But it's later this month, whichever week is the week of the 25th. Um, this is an annual sale I have, and I think it's 15% off that I do. Everything in the shop. 
So, yeah, that's coming up. I will continue to tell you about it as we get closer. Sorry, my glasses are falling down. Okay, um, stash highlight. So, I decided to highlight this today. It's just a coaster, but it's kind of cute. Um, it was on clearance, bought it probably 10 years ago. Um, there was actually two, I bought two of them. But one I used, I stitched and gave as a gift to my sister. Um, so let me show you this book. I love this book, Cross Stitch Fairies. Over 50 enchanting designs. So it has lots and lots of awesome patterns. But the one I used for my sisters was this one right here, this little fairy with some bluebells. Um, so I did that in the coaster because it was cute. I love this book. I've used several of the designs. I have, I've used this design. Um, I actually changed it to winter colors and did it as baby's first Christmas for one of my nephews. And there's so many other patterns I want to do in here. It, they're so cute. If you have a chance to get this book and you like fairies, I suggest getting it. It's got lots of beautiful fairies. Oh, here's some on my back too. And I have plans for more of these because they're so cute. Um, and I'll have a link to where you can buy this on Amazon in my show notes. I feel like I'm going too fast. Like last time I had to go really fast to get through everything. And this time I'm like, it's 11 minutes and I've pretty much finished off my list. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Oh, one thing I did want to say. So I've been watching more Flosstube because I love watching it. And I watched more Misty Purcell because she's awesome. And she talked about, um, talking about the process. And I really like that idea. Um, she called it the process pledge. And she said, um, knitters, it had been a thing when it was, people were doing a lot, <laughs> there was a lot of concentration on blogs. Anyways, so I want to talk about my process some um, throughout my floss two videos. Um, I usually start with doing a design. Um, I usually then pick the colors. Partial, I mean, I have a basic idea of the colors, but I pick the actual colors after I have got the main design done. Then I test stitch it, like this. Um, or I'm starting to get some test stitchers to do it for me. Um, I'm getting better at designing, I feel like, now that I've been doing it for, I think, three years. So I feel like I don't have to redo as much. Because before, I would, three to times was the norm for most designs. And I'll still probably test stitch to see if I like something sometimes, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better, which is good. Um, anyways, so I test stitch it and then I photograph it <coughs> and photograph. What do I do after photographing? Oh, create the Etsy listing. Oh, and after I also, after I photograph it, I create, so the program I use gives me a cross stitch pattern. Um, but I don't, that's not what I send to you. It is, it's part of what I send to you, but I go and I design, I have a design template that I put it into that has the photo and it has instructions and it has everything that I feel like ought to be in there, except for I realized recently that I don't put the stitch count. So I need to add that in. I also currently, for most of my patterns, I only offer them in color with symbol keys, but I want to get it so I offer black and white patterns too, or at least black and white symbol patterns to help people who either don't have a color printer or just prefer symbols only. I prefer the colors with the symbols, which is why that's what I do, but I'm gonna change that up. I have other thoughts and I can't remember what they are. This is gonna be a short floss tube because um, I have gone through everything. Oh, I did, I was gonna say, I like how, um, blanking, 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 uh, Michelle, Bendy Stitchy, um, talks about books. So I love reading. A lot of what I read currently is, I don't know if fluff is the right word, some of it is total fluff. Um, but others of it is just like women's lit, I guess you could call it. So romance, but clean romance. Um, no sex scenes for me. Nope. Don't read those. Um, but, uh, one of the authors I love is Jennifer Peel and I will link her in here too. She just came out with a new book in one of her series. 
and I read it over the weekend, and it was fabulous. Um, and it makes me want to read Les Mis, because that's mentioned frequently in the book, and Les Mis is on my list of classics to read. I was an English major, English major in college. I should read more classics now, but they take energy, well, brain energy. So I don't get through them as fast as I used to. Not that I got them through them that well when I was in college, because I was super busy, but I had to read them, and I wanted to read them. Anyways, so this book, it was Nar Narcissistic Tendencies is the book I read. It's the third in a series, so don't start with that one. Go to the first book in the series. Statistically Improbable is the second one. What was the first one in the series? Can't remember. I mean, I can see the cover in my mind, but I can't see the title. But it was good, too. All of her books are good. I haven't read quite all of them, but I've read almost all of them. And what was I talking about? Oh, Les Mis. Yes. Anyways, the book talked about Les Mis, and now I want to go read it. And I have a copy, because it's on my list of classics to read. I don't own all the classics I want to read, but I own quite a few. So I think it's going to jump up to the top, and I'm going to read it. So it'll take me a while. I read Ivanhoe last year, slash into this year. It was really good. Like, I loved reading Ivanhoe, but it still took, it still took me a year to read. Um, in college, I read Anna Karina in a summer. That was nice. I enjoyed it. And that was just for fun. That wasn't college class or anything. Um, I love Tolstoy. He's such a good author. And I'm rambling about books now and not floss tube. Floss tube. Not stitching. But I do want to create some more designs that include booky sort of stuff because I love books. So keep your eye out for that. I don't know when they'll come out because, like I said, I have a mountain of ideas. But, yeah, this is a short video. And that's okay. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Okay, cool. Um, and if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't like them in the future, unsubscribe. I'm in a weird mood. I think it's because I'm tired. Yeah, I'm going to go. Happy stitching.